welcome to code pro channel in this tutorial i am going to explain how to convert excel file into json object by using javascript few days back when i have worked on this experiment people suggest me that use any of the backend framework to convert into excel file into json object by using node.js or java but i don't think that is a proper approach for everything you need to make a request to the backend so that's why i have written a client side javascript code to convert excel file into json object so I just made simple setup here, simple setup with sample HTML file and Excel simple JS file. I haven't written any code. I'm using a bootstrap to make a layout here. This is the sample design I have done. You can just select the file here, whatever the Excel file you want to select, just I have selected and you need to click on convert, it has to work. The first thing we need to do to restrict the user to select only Excel files, not other files. So that we need to add an accept parameter in that we need to pass what type of files you need to accept xlx comma dot xlxx just i have restricted for these two files extensions only now you can see how it will behave here if i select it now you can see all the dot movie files you are not able to select only folders it was showing and dot sl xlx files you can able to select it now now I have selected and the second thing is you need to add event listeners for both input and button to handle the change in the input and to handle the click event of a button. For that I have given IDs here, ID as input and ID as a button. So now I am writing the add event listener for that, for that document dot. I am just getting the element by ID, element by ID. So what the idea I have given here? This is the input element. Put dot add event listener. Now there are so many types of events are there like click event, double click, cap what, input. So many events are there. But now I need to use change event as of now to handle the change in the input field. And the second parameter is the callback function you need to pass just i have passed it now it will give an event as a parameter for us here console.log of event now just check that it is working or not so I, okay you can see the event was fired because you are added event listener for that element. In this also, you can see what the file you have selected in the event or target. You can see accept parameter what I have given, and just you can see files here. This is the file you have selected, the financial. So now I will make sure console as event dot target dot files. Now you can see if I select any file. This is the file you have selected the same way we need to write a click event for button also just i'm copying here what the idea i have given there is the button and this event will be click event not change event i don't want this event at all just i will check the console.log of the event is working or not click just formatting here yeah now I click on it something yeah the click event is working now now I am declaring a variable with left keyboard let selected file is the empty variable now whenever you have selected a file you need to assign it to that selected file equal to event dot target dot files of zero because you have selected only one file, right? That's why I have selected as zero, files of zero. Now, when you click on it, if selected file is, then once you selected the file, you need to read that file with a file reader. It was a default built in object in JavaScript. Let file reader equal to new file reader. The default built in object in JavaScript. Now I will read that file with file reader. Dot 
read as binary string. Thus, the selected file will be in the binary format. So that's why we need to read that file. Whatever the blob you have selected, this is the selected file. I'm passing to it. Once it was read as binary string was performed, then file reader dot on the function will be called. Equal to here it will return an event for us. Just transfer it as an event. Event dot the same way event dot target dot data. Now, selected file. I have to select a file. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing the error here. The file sub zero. Now, same. Now, click on the convert button. You can see the data it in 122kb and it was it was not a readable format it's a binary format till now i have used the built-in functionality in javascript to read that excel file as a binary string but we need to use a third party library to read that binary string and to convert that excel file into json object there is a plugin called xlxx that can be used to convert that excel file into the json object and the xlxx it has an inbuilt functionality of sheet.js to convert our binary string into json object to use that xlxx library we need to import or we need to include that cdn.js link in our head tag of our html page here xlxx library we need to copy this this is here xlxx.full.min.js just i have copied it here and I need to include it in the head tag up below the body tag script tag. I'm just copying it. So once I have copied here, just you can see what the window object here in this here. Once you open it here, it was added XLSX in the window also. It is a 0.16.2 version. These are the methods which are included in Excel access library. We can use any of these methods. Here I am using this read method. So let's here I have a data. Let data equal to till now whatever I have with the built-in JavaScript object called file reader. Now I am going to use Excel access from now. Let workbook equal to sex dot read. We have a read read method in it, right? Read of whatever the data you want to read. I have a data this one, right? Comma. What the type of data? Type is binary data. Binary data. Now let's see what the workbook here. Here, I've selected a file, open, convert. Now you can see this is the data we are getting from that. Here we have a sheet names. This is a sheet names and sheets. How many sheets are there in it? Now I am going to loop over the workbook arrays. Workbook dot sheet names. What I have seen there. Dot for each. Just time using it here for each. Here, sheet. Now, let object. select sex dot this. You can see there. If you open it here, it's the utils here. You scroll down here. Sheet to row object array. This is a method we need to use. 
dot sheet row object array and here we need to pass what the sheet object in workbook we need to pass here so for that now i will console it as row object now you can see how it will perform open convert now you can see 700 records in this excel file it was completely with the json object now you can see it in the console the same way we can see it in browser window also right here for that what we need to do is we need to convert this one into json object json like it, we need to stringify it to display it in a uh, uh, html file for that i will make small change here in the html here I'm using a bootstrap system here. I'm saying three tag ID JSON. Data. I will find that data here. You can see document dot get element by ID. Get element by ID of whatever the ID you have given there in the pre tag and dot inner html equal to we need to stringify it json dot stringify of whatever the object you have now you can see it here whenever i have i'm choosing the file opening it convert now you are able to see it here also right this is the data we are displaying it in the browser also but this is not much tradable right it was it was showing in the horizontal format with scrolling right so we need to see it in uh, exact format how it was in the console also right for that we need to pass two parameters here the second parameter is the replacement parameter third is the spacing like you can see it here uh, space parameter we need to pass as a space as four now you can see i select the file open convert now you can see you can close the console and you can see whatever the data it was so almost it's a large data like 700 records are there you can see the records in the json format now this is the this is the way we can convert excel file into json object thanks for watching video please don't forget to subscribe